Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a quick look at a 10 gigabit switch. And we are back. So first of all, let me just mention that this is the brand new 10 gigabit switch from Keynap. And when I was looking for a solution to expand my network in terms of bandwidth, uh, especially because network attached storage such as this one right over here, uh, these days are coming with ports with 2.5 gigabit connection. So if we want to take advantage, then I was looking for a switch with those kind of connections. And then I came across with one of Keynap that has also 10 gigabit and the old model had eight ports with one gigabit speed this model has eight ports with 2.5 gigabit speed which is just awesome as we will have the chance to see in just a few moments in terms of the switch itself besides the ports that i already mentioned it has a maintenance port right over here the eight 2.5 gigabits right over here and it also has two 10 gigabit uh ports one of which is ethernet rj45 and the other one is sfp plus which is a bit more expensive but a better connection so uh, this is a really nice looking switch it has a detail that i really enjoyed which is the power adapter uh, usually it's just a regular power adapter but this one i think it's really well thought uh, because we can rotate this wheel right over here and we we can have the cable for one side or the other side so this is just awesome. Now this is a managed switch. I will show you the interface right over here before we go for some tests. At this moment, I've got 2.5 um, connections right over here. One of which, which is this one, is connected to the NAS and this one is connected to my home network and then 10 gigabits, which is connected to the laptop. Now, one of the things that I was forgetting is that to take advantage of a switch such as this one, we will need on both sides a 10 gigabit connection. Now for this MacBook Pro, I've got the new uh, Sabrent Thunderbolt 3 2 um, Ethernet connection, 10 gigabits. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out. But we will make a um, proper video about this new adapter right over here. Also, here I've got the Kinap uh, TVS X73E. I will try to leave links down below for everything. Now, one of the nice capabilities of this NAS, although it's not a brand new, uh, it's from a loan and uh, it has a 10 gigabit PCI slot right over here from Kinap, which will allow us to have great speeds as we will have the chance to see. Now, in terms of the switch, it's really well built on the bottom. It's all made of metallic. The plastics are really nice, so well constructed, uh, very sturdy with all the connectivity that we have already seen and it's managed. So we can see right over here the dashboard and I will go very quickly through the dashboard. If you guys have any question, leave them down below on the comment section and I'll try to answer as best and as fast as I can. Now, so here we have the overview and it shows me two connections on the 2.5, which is the speeds that we will start and then we jump to 10 uh, gigabits. And then we also have the port management right over here and we have VLAN. So these are all terms for those of you that are used to work with uh, NAS units and switches. These are all terms that you are more than used. So we will not lose your time right over here. Uh, and I will just go through some of these menus so that you can take a look. Once again, if you still have any questions regarding anything, just let me know. And having in mind that I don't know everything uh, of the switch because I will need to start using it on my daily basis so that I can get used to all the features and capabilities that it has because it has a lot. And now, uh, for example, it shows me that the last time that I switched it on was 17 hours ago and it has an update because I already checked and it has an update waiting, but I will do the update later on. And if I get different results, I will upload another video so that it will help. Now, this is the interface of the Nash, but I will do a dedicated video, as I said, for the Nash and also for the Thunderbolt 2 10 gigabit switch. Uh, 
10 gigabit network adapter. Now, that being said, what I want to share with you guys right now. First of all, let's do a test of one gigabit machine. I've got my Mac Mini right over here with iPerf installed. So let's do a test so that we can check something here on the switch menu. So we are getting a one gigabit uh, connectivity and what it shows is 900 and something, 1000 uh, megabits, 600 and something. So it just lowers and now zero on the connection. So I just want to establish a pattern here to help me and help you guys to understand some of the values that we will have later on. So this is a gigabit connectivity, no surprises right over here, something that we have for quite some time. Let's take a look at the 2.5 gigabit connection. So let's just run the iperf command right over here and as you can see we will have the results of a 2.5 gigabit connection. So 2300 and something megabits per second which is the result and if we repeat the test once again so that we can see it better it starts ramping up and then it goes to 2300 and something which is more or less the same that we see right over here. So it reaches a maximum of 2441 um, and basically this is normal for a 2.5 connectivity. Now let's go for the 10 gigabit, which I'm going to disconnect and connect. So I will be back in just a few moments. Okay, so we are connected to 10 gigabit on the computer and 10 gigabit on the Kinap NAS with a 10 gigabit connectivity. Now let's do another test and just the normal commands and let's go for it. So. As we can see, the speed right over here will jump to 4 point something, 8,390. And uh, that was the maximum of this speed. But one of the things that I'm really curious is that on iPerf, we are not getting that results. Now, maximum that I'm getting is about 6 point something, 6.30 something. Um, and that is it. Now, my expectation is that I can uh, move the speed up changing the cables that I'm using, which are CAT6 and for what I read uh, would be able to drive the full speed, but it's probably not. So I will have to troubleshoot that and try to see. But I will also have to trust the software, which tells me that one gigabit is, cor is correct, 2.5 gigabits is correct. Why not the 10? It's showing me that it's 10. So this was something that I wanted to establish with you guys. Let's do one more normal and then I want to do another with you uh, so that we can see. So 5000 megabits per second, which is some great speeds. Uh, and here we are, 5000 and that was it for this test. Uh, let's do something different right over here. Let's do a test that takes a little bit longer so that it takes uh, time to uh, talk to each other. Now it has reached 10,000 megabits per second right over here. So 10 gigabit connectivity, 8,900 and we are floating 6,900. We are floating on these values and the test is almost over going down. And as we can see, uh, the highest values were when we got 5 point something, 5 point something. There's no six right over here that I can see. And that was it. So it gives me a average of four gigabit per second, which is not that much having in mind that we have a 10 gigabit connectivity. So my thought is that, and I don't have any other cables right now so that I can test and repeat all these tests. And if I've got different results, I will do another video to show you guys how it affects CAT6 or superior cables on the speeds and basically this is it regarding this switch i'm really happy with it especially because i want to take full advantage of the 2.5 gigabit and link aggregation on nas unit and you can check out the kinap lineup because they have a lot of gear there uh, for small users and big businesses and everything in between this one is a really nice machine i want to do a few more tests before sending it back uh, because there are some really interesting features besides the 10 gigabit connection. And guys, that is it. Hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.